you are a successful entrepreneur in the biotechnology and nutraceutical industries, how did you first hit upon the idea to study olives and to develop a natural polyphenols formulation? Well, I must confess I uh, started learning more about olive oil late in my scientific career. Uh, it was about 12 years ago when I first purchased a summer house in Tuscany. Uh, we had also a beautiful olive grove in the back, backyard. So I wanted to become an olive oil producer. And of course, I started learning about the benefits of olive oil in the Mediterranean diet. Also, I discovered that uh, there is a new way, a new process to make oil, which takes the stones of the olives out. So I got intrigued, you know, because I wanted to do the best possible job and provide the best olive oil in the world, as many other people. But what I didn't understand uh, was uh, why people in the industry never paid attention to the juice of the olives. As you know, the olive oil is so unique in the Mediterranean diet because of the content in polyphenols. You know, the polyphenols are very active molecules that are central to the benefits of uh, Mediterranean diet in terms of uh, uh, chorionic heart disease, uh, prevention of uh, cancer and so on. But in olive oil, there is only a very small amount and the majority ends up in the juice of the olives, and the juice of olives has never been uh, uh, looked at as a potential a good source and has been discarded as wastewater. So really now my scientific curiosity start focusing on the, on the juice and uh, we started uh, developing a process to prevent the spoilage of the juice so that we can use the juice as a main source to develop the polyphenols that eventually became hydrox. What are the clinically proven benefits of hydrox and does it have any reported positive side effects? Yes, actually you know, we learned quite a bit because um, we started uh, focusing on uh, studies uh, on humans you know, beside the research we have done uh, about 10 years ago and we had a number of uh, excellent collaboration both in the United States, in uh, Japan and also in Europe. So we have learned quite a bit about hydrox and hydroxytyrosol, which is the main component of uh, hydrox. And uh, of course, uh, historically, the polyphenols uh, from olives have been associated to the benefit you can get for your heart, for your vasculars, uh, vascular system. So uh, there is a very proven benefit now uh, that has been uh, uh, also recognized by the EFSA, which is the European uh, authority, maximum authority for food safety. Uh, EFSA has uh, uh, now recognized officially that intake of uh, hydroxytyrosol and hydrox benefits the LDL uh, oxidation. In other words, you can prevent you know, excessive oxidation, and therefore you can prevent diseases like atherosclerosis, uh, strokes, and so on. So that has been well, very well documented. But in our experience, uh, we also learned that uh, hydrox and hydroxytyrosol uh, is a very potent natural anti-inflammatory agent. So you can expect from uh, uh, clinical trials and many other studies that if you take hydroxytyrosol, uh, 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 you get benefit in uh, problems with your joints, where there is a pain, there is a swelling, and often you know, uh, people are incapacitated to live a, a normal life. Uh, we have done clinical trials and, and uh, it was shown indeed that there is a tremendous benefit. And finally, and extremely exciting, we have found that hydroxytyrosol also uh, is an immunomodulators because uh, people who have uh, autoimmune disease like psoriasis, uh, rheumatoid arthritis, seems to get a great, great benefits from uh, hydroxytyrosol and olive polyphenols. In terms of uh, side effects, in 10 years we really didn't see any. And even if we go extremely high in, uh, in concentration, apparently there is no um, toxicity associated for a main reason that the hydroxytyrosol does not accumulate you know, in your body, in your tissues. Hydroxytyrosol is extremely bioavailable so everything you ingest after 15-20 minutes you can see in the bloodstream but after three hours 
everything goes out. So there is no accumulation and potentially there is no toxicity because uh, really uh, there is no quantity or concentration that might play some side effects. Hydrox has been successfully sold for the last 10 years on the international market for dietary supplements, skincare products, food, beverages. Does it have any potential application in the biopharmaceutical industry? Yes, absolutely. We are very, very excited because uh, obviously we started with the health and the wellness, but now from uh, many years experience, not only in the United States, but also in Asia, and we just introduced uh, our product in Europe a few days ago, we have seen more and more uh, benefits for uh, disease that they are badly served today by the pharmaceutical industry. And one of them, specifically psoriasis, is really an opportunity for people to switch from uh, very expensive therapy, very often toxic, you know, especially now with the new biotechnology products, we have seen to toxicity all the way to death. Now they can have alternative uh, in uh, a natural product like uh, Hydrox uh, to take a, a totally natural, and totally safe, uh, orally, you know, to uh, really alleviate uh, the symptoms of this problem. We understand that Criagri has declared 2012 the year of psoriasis. Can you tell us more about this initiative? The 2012 for us is significant important because we are committing now more and more to medically oriented applications. So we know that hydrox and olive polyphenols have a beneficial effect not only for a physiological situation, for me and you, you know, live well, but especially in pathological situations where people have a disease. And uh, we know that um, from my clinical experience we have done, and we continually get feedback from consumer, you know, get relief from uh, uh, hydrox and olivenol, which is a branded product. So we believe that we have to dig into this and move from just being a dietary supplement company to be more committed and more focused uh, for uh, medical uh, applications. So we're going to start from psoriasis where we have uh, data and they go back uh, almost eight years. We started in Japan, then in South Asia, now in Europe. So we believe that um, Hydrox has all the requisites and we have all the back data you know, scientifically proven, clinically proven, to start developing Hydrox into first a medical food where uh, the industry can use you know, and associate some uh, claims, medically valid claims, but also we believe that we can go all the way to a botanical drug and get the FDA in the United States and the uh, health authority in Europe and Asia to approve a very valid health claim.